Yes. Okay, so today is the 14th. Uh -huh. 10, 14, 24. All right. There are two things I want to do. Maybe a thousand things I want to do today. All right. Absolute value will be the first thing I do with you. Did you guys learn absolute value last year? Yeah. yeah. What is absolute value? Um, Okay, what if it's a positive number? Okay. All right. Very good. Nathan, what would you like to add to what is absolute value? Okay. Okay. Um, there's one, one word you're missing. Yes. <coughs> the distance from zero. Keyword distance. Very good. All right. Makes my job easier then. Let's rush through this then. Absolute value is the distance from zero to your, your number. The distance from zero to your number. Now, does anybody know what absolute value looks like? So you have the definition correct. Anna, what does it look like? Yeah. So it's it's a number surrounded by these like. Did you call it block lines? Long lines. Okay. So these are your absolute value bars. So, yeah, Anna said it perfectly. They're like these longer lines, okay? These are the absolute value uh, bars, lines. So, what is the absolute value of six? Six. six. So, basically, what it is, it's on a number line. If you have the number six and you have zero, what is the distance from here to your number? and it would be six, right? So absolute value is a distance. Can I tell you to go run a negative one mile? Yeah. Yes. No. no, distance is never negative. I cannot measure something in a negative form, right? So I can't say that my notebook is uh, negative 10 inches, right? Doesn't exist. Or it doesn't, no. So, what's the absolute value of negative 10? 10. Right, so even if I go from 0 to negative 10 and I go to the left, because we're talking about a distance, a distance, um, it can't not be negative, cannot be negative. All right, are we okay with this? So, this is coming out from 6th grade. You learned this in 6th grade? Does anybody know when your answer is a negative? I just finished saying it's never negative, but there is only there's one time that your answer is negative. Does anybody know when your answer will be negative? Mom, no? anybody? anybody? Okay. Yay, something for me to teach you. Here it is. Mm, let's do seven. So what's the absolute value of seven? Seven. seven? seven. So how do I make this answer negative? The negative outside. So if the negative is outside, then your answer will be negative. So it's when it's outside. So if the negative is outside, then our answer is negative. Only when it's outside. Okay? All right. So this is just level one of absolute value. Just level one, super easy, super duper easy, right? So on the back, number four, 
What's the absolute value of negative 7? Seven? 7. 7, right? Absolute value of negative 7 is 7. But you have this negative outside, so then your final answer would be negative 7. Michelle? Yes, when I'm not directly teaching. Like when I'm not talking to the class. Yeah, take. All right. So what is your answer for number 3? What is your answer for number seven? Okay, let's focus on this. Negative twelve. Negative twelve. Eight. Negative five. Eleven. Negative twelve. Fourteen. Negative four. Fourteen. I tricked you. Fifteen. Negative four. Sixteen. Negative fifteen. Let's do the hardest working of your life. Yay. 